lobster men and women in Maine brought in a record catch last year. About 80% of lobsters caught in the U.S. come from the state. The record is good news for the growing ranks of lobster roll lovers around the world, me included. But prices for the glorified lobster sandwich have been on the rise, hovering around $20. Don Daler is in Tenants Harbor, Maine, with a lesson in lobster economics. Don, good morning. Good morning. Over the past few hours, six lobster boats pulled away from here, heading out on their daily task of pulling up hundreds of these lobster traps in search of that tasty treasure of the sea. But it wasn't always viewed as such. Lobster was once so disdained as food, it was fed only to prisoners. No longer. Now, when it comes to coveted seafood, lobster is king. If there was an official food of summer, the lobster roll would be a lead contender. It's the essence of summer. It always makes me feel like I'm at the beach. And it's not just in New England. You can now get an authentic Maine lobster roll pretty much anywhere around the U.S. Oh, anyway, you can have lobster. I like to have lobster. You can also find the seafood treat at McDonald's in six northeastern states. Well, I think it's a hamburger of the sea. I'm just a big lobster fan, so like anything is good. Miss, we have your box ready. As demand for this delicacy has gone up, so has its price. Two years ago or even last year, it was cheap and it's kind of like, oh wow, lobster was in everything. And now it's kind of think back to being a little bit more of a luxury. I mean, people think of Maine, they think of lobster, they come here, they want a lobster. And so it's, it's important that we capture that feeling. Matt Jacobson leads an organization touting Maine lobster around the world. It's sort of that affordable luxury. Right? It's the vacation on a plate. The journey to that plate begins here in the waters off Maine that have the perfect temperature to nurture lobsters. Tom Martin is one of almost 6,000 licensed lobstermen who are benefiting from an underwater population explosion. Last year, Maine lobstermen pulled up a record 130 million pounds. That's nearly double what they were bringing in 10 years ago. The catch keeps going up and the demand keeps going up a little bit faster. So the prices stay up. Which is good for, yeah, obviously really good for the fishermen. We haven't really seen a very strong catch yet this season, but that could change any day now. We've got to find more markets for all the fish, right? I mean, we've got a lot of lobster. We've got to find more mouths to, to eat it. Thank you. And they have. Looking forward to this. As demand has exploded worldwide, especially Asia, so have prices. When we started Luke's back in 2009, we were buying lobster meat for $14 a pound. You know, we're now up to $30 a pound for lobster meat. Luke Holden is a third-generation lobsterman. He's also the entrepreneur behind Luke's Lobsters. He and his partner started with one lobster shack in New York. They now have more than 25 in the United States and six in Japan. If the supply's so good, why are the prices still so high? The demand has continued to grow at that exponential rate. So now we've got a, a market where demand, I think, is in excess of supply. So we've got a very stable price. Luke's Lobster's processing arm, Cape Seafood, expects to ship 5 million pounds this year, part of a crucial industry for Maine. These crustaceans contribute more than $1 billion a year to the state's economy and contribute to a way of life that goes back generations. The three lobster rolls be and a new culinary experience for many, gaining a lot of fans. Oh, it's expensive, but it's worth it. Once a month, you got to splurge every now and then. This season has started off a little more slowly than past years, but we're told that should pick up over the next few days. Now, unlike other fisheries around the world, Maine's lobster beds are thriving in part because fishermen long ago set strict limits to the size of the lobsters they could keep. They want them to be three and a quarter inches, the back part of the lobster here. They have to be bigger than that, but they don't want them too big, and they want absolutely no reproducing females. Nora. Well, there you go, Don. Thank you. How do you like your lobster? I, I like to drive up to the coast of Maine there, to Georgetown and New Harbor, and, you know, with the family, and you just, and those are the best place to go to the lobster shacks. Not, you know, it's one thing in a restaurant, it's another actually yeah. getting it in Maine. You said the season's slow. After that segment, I think it's going to pick up quickly. Yeah, maybe so. <laughs> We're all hungry.